Hey everyone and welcome to episode 117 of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert. I'll be your host once again for today's show. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch our videos. Hopefully you are enjoying them. Hopefully you are learning something from them. Um, if you want to reference our notes for this video or any of our past 116 videos that we've done, uh, you can find the written form of the videos on our blog page. Just go to mrbeer.com slash blog or just the website mrbeer.com and click on the little blog button. Uh, you can filter by Brew Talk. You can search there. Uh, we put a bunch of cool recipes on there and some other interesting blog articles. So um, if you want to reference a knowledge base, that'd probably be the best place to go. If you're just looking to watch the videos that we've done in the past, probably the best place to find those would be on YouTube or at Mr. Beer over there. Um, so without further ado, we will dive into today's topic. Um, today is tips for reusing commercial glass beer bottles. Um, so if you drink a decent amount of beer, which sometimes we do, uh, the chances are you can build up a good collection of glass beer bottles that you can hopefully reuse to bottle your homebrew. Um, it's a great way to save on bottle cost and to build up some bottles that you can use to brew. Um, however, there are a few tips we wanted to provide you with when looking to reuse your glass bottles, kind of what to look for, what to do, things to replace, etc. cetera. Um, I mean, the first thing to note is that if your glass bottles are twist off glass bottles, which there are a lot of them are, you, you can't use those to bottle your home brew. Um, Cause what you'll do if you use glass bottles you never had before, you'll use a capper and the caps kind of crimp around the top of, of the um, of the lip of the glass bottles. But if they're a twist, they kind of have those spirals on, on the sides. So the cap won't tighten properly. So what's gonna happen is CO2 is gonna leak out of there and your beer is not gonna be fully carbonated or could be not carbonated at all. Um, so just make sure you're not using twist off glass beer bottles because those will not work. Unfortunately, those are not reusable. You need to reuse the pry off glass beer bottles. Um, the second would be just to be aware of the thickness of the bottle. It's pretty easy to judge by how it weighs. Um, if you've been around beer for a long enough time and you can kind of tell, I mean, it's very hard to tell if there's a difference between thickness of glass bottles. Um, I mean, you know, commercial breweries are always going to try to save on cost so they can buy a little cheaper bottle that will hold their beer because they're, because, you know, a commercial brewery isn't thinking that their bottles are going to be repurposed into homebrew. They're just thinking we need this bottle to store our beer until someone drinks it. So, I mean, the, the, the thickness could be um, not as thick as other bottles you traditionally find. And, you know, you can compare and contrast them. It's pretty easy to see that. I think, I mean, the thicker the glass, the heavier the bottle we're going to be. You know, the thicker glass bottles are going to be more durable, so they're going to last as long. Um, they're going to be able to be reused multiple times. Sometimes with the, the thinner ones, I've seen this every once in a while, if, if you've reused kind of lower quality glass bottles for a long period of time, they just kind of can deteriorate and eventually they will just kind of break or shatter from the force of the CO2. They just don't hold it anymore, but that's over, you know, a long period of use. So just be, be aware of that. Um, you know, and if you feel like you're not sure about your glass bottles and they're been conditioning and carbonating for a while at that room temp range, you can put them in the fridge and what that will do is that will kind of slow that yeast down and make it go dormant so it's gonna, they're not going to keep fermenting anything and hopefully they'll kind of keep that pressure at bay. Then you can drink them or if you just want to get crazy, you can just drink them all at once and you know, just just have a good old time. Um, and then lastly, for the other glass bottles or swing top or the Grolsch bottles or if you want to call them, you got the little flip nozzles on there, you can just pop them off. Uh, those are actually really great to use. We like to use those a lot here. Um, if you get those as reusable bottles, they work very well no matter what you're using. Um, the only thing we do recommend is replacing the gaskets every so often. There's a little gasket around the uh, the top of the swing top lid. Those can wear down over time. So if you're noticing that your beer is starting to get a little less carbonated as you've been brewing and you bottling with them for a long time, replace the gaskets, they'll pick those right up. Those last forever. Um, so to wrap it up, you know you can't use twist off glass bottles. Don't use those. Uh, you just make sure you're aware of kind of the quality of glass bottles that you're using. Um, I think it's best if you want to buy like homebrew glass bottles, go to your local homebrew shop. They have some good ones on Amazon that they're selling as well. Um, they're just kind of more thicker, durable quality that are meant to last for a long time. And then if you're using the swing top bottles, you just want to replace those gaskets uh, every so often. I was going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, a comment, or a share wherever you can. Uh, make sure you're following us on all of our social media platforms. We're just at Mr. Beer on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, we do a little different content here and there, so make sure you're following us on all three. Uh, if you're posting anything about yourself, brewing, especially on Instagram, make sure to tag us so we can 
see the story. We've seen some cool reels that you guys are creating, some good posts, um, some cool videos. Just make sure to keep tagging us. So we keep sharing those in your story that we love to see uh, those brews. And if you want to learn more about Mr. Beer or just brewing with Mr. Beer, join our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. Go to Facebook, search Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. It's a little over 2,000 people in there now, so it's a really great place to hang out, share recipes, ideas. Uh, we sometimes use some special offers in there as well. So just answer the three questions. We'll let you guys in. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this weekend. I will talk to you guys next week. Cheers.